make your home brew, uh, how to make some spirits, and then you make it up to make your your bourbon or your rum or whatever spirit you like. Uh, in front of you here, we've got a a 25 litre plastic container. That's 23 litres of water, eight kilos of sugar, and then a a yeast. Got down here. Just show you a yeast. We just had to just start making this batch. Mix that up uh, around the 35 degree mark. So you get it up to 35 degree with your hot water and put in the yeast, and then uh, leave the lid loose for a couple of days. It's up here, just while she's bubbling away. In the top there, you've just got a little bubbler, which comes in handy when it's all tightened down. I said after about two days after it's settled down. Uh, instructions on the side there if you want to follow those and just pause the video if you want it's got a thermometer at the bottom there I've got a, a heat pad it uses about 10 watts of electricity uh, use that after it cooled down like after the three days or so if you get cool nights just turn that on it keeps it a, a constant 30 odd degrees such as a good brewing temperature you just stuff all electricity. Uh, just here I've got a, a, a thermo blanket. I just wrap that around the barrel. Just keeps it nice and warm. There we go, and I'll show you the rest of the stuff I use to uh, make up the uh, spirits here. Okay, so here are some tools of trade. I just forgot to mention that. Uh, that fermentation process. Normally I'll leave it, it's supposed to take a week, I'll leave it for two weeks and it gives me a sort of a bit of a, a better content. Uh, some of the tools of trade here, I'll show you a brief view there. No, it's not a meth lab, it's just a home brewing implements I would gather. Alright, so just your normal water jug, general use, a, a charcoal filter. Uh, which you use to, uh, after the fermentation process has gone through, just to get the impurities out of the spirit itself, after you've cut down the, the spirit in the, with water, down to about 40 proof, you put it through there a couple of times, it just takes a bite out of the spirit. Hey, uh, what else have you got there, just a funnel. Uh, general hose just for getting from the fermentation process into the still, the uh, stainless steel still. On the right hand side is a alchemeter, a commoter, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it just tests your strength of your actual alcohol when it's finished. Uh, normally around the, the 40% is what I cut it down to. The uh, one on the left hand side is making a specific gravity, so you use that to test your fermented. Uh, Batch before you still it off uh, just to get the right, right SG out of it. Standard mixing spoons for the, uh, for the mix. 15 litre plastic drum that's what they used to uh, go backwards and forwards through the charcoal filter when you're actually stilling it off to get these impurities. Like I said, put it through once or twice and then you end up with your pure spirits. Uh, here's your still. So when your mix is finished after two weeks, uh, it all goes into there, and then we start bubbling it away. Uh, so I'll just take the lid off there so you can actually see it inside. So it's a heat ring in the bottom there. It heats it all up. Alright, so she starts heating up. Put the thermometer up the top here there to get the right temperatures. Uh, only within a certain range. Then we got the water going. Water going in. The water goes in this, this hose here. And this one, so you just attach that to your tap. So the water goes in, in through this one, up the top around the ring. And then uh, comes back out and around this ring to cool that, that bit off there and then the water actually eventually goes out of this hose and 
straight down the sink. So that's just for cold water. Keep this cylinder uh, nice and uh, in the temperature range. When she's bubbling away, it's just a matter of keeping the bottom ring as water's going around this coil here. You just get the temperature so you can actually touch the bottom one and they gradually get hotter and hotter and then you shouldn't be able to touch the top one. And then your distilled spirits comes out of this hose here. Uh, after you're finished, normally end up, uh, after sealing within the, the tap desired range, end up with about 5 to 7 litres of between 80 and 90% proof spirit. Cut that down in your 15 litres, down to uh, your 40 proof using your accommodator, so you get that in 40 proof spirit, so you can end up with about 10 litres of 40 proof spirit at the end of the day. It's clear spirit, and then you make up your, uh, add your flavourings and mixtures to uh, make up whatever you want, either your rum, tequilas, or bourbons, or whatever. It's a thousand and one mixes. And that's about it. So the whole process from woe of eight kilos of sugar um, to making your 10 litres of white spirits probably a two week process and eight kilos of sugar and 23 litres of water your mixes cost anywhere from three to seven dollars to make up two and a half litres I suppose and you use your uh, and buy plastic bottles or Goonies to put your field spirit, your finished spirit in. That's about it. It's all good.